What's up, guys? Mike back again with the Batman Welcome. video. Okay, Brandon. <laughs> All right, yeah, Mike and Brandon here. Anyway, uh, I'm back on another Batman video. Uh, the, I just had this sitting on the hard drive. I've got two Ar Return to Arkham, Arkham City videos for you. And what I wanted to talk about today, briefly, and why this isn't a live com, is when the new Batman game gets announced. What combat system should it have? Should it pick up from... I'm not going to suggest Asylum to any of you. But should it pick up the City style, the Origin style, or the Arkham Knight style of combat? You know, you're looking at Arkham City now. Uh, I think it has a perfect combat system. Not too many enemies on screen. Everything's pretty fluid. Uh, as you'll see in this gameplay, though, I get a little competitive on the League of Origins. You see, but Brandon, what do you, what do you think? Arkham Origins is the answer to that question, sir. They should adopt that because that's the, it is the least flawed combat system out of all the games. This is coming from a casual gamer, you know. And I've, I've seen I've seen the bullshit that comes from playing Arkham Knight. I've seen just the mistakes that you can easily do from, come, like, from playing Arkham Asylum. Arkham City, you feel like a tank. You don't really have any, you know, threats there. So they should all, you know, they should just bring back all the variety of enemies. You know what I'm saying? Put some, put some martial artists back in there. I want to see that again. Because... I have great battles with martial artists. They break my ankles, I break their ankles, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, uh, my, that's, my one, that's my one complaint with City. Um, you know, we put up a video not too long ago. It was on Reddit, it was on YouTube about, are, is Arkham City too easy? And you and I went in a pretty long discussion of that. If we just, you can pretty much just tank through it. Well, as you'll see through this whole gameplay that I'm doing, I am never once in fear of getting hit. I'm just in fear of myself breaking my own combo. Whereas, in Night, you can break your combo off some bullshit because this is targeting system and how fast everything moves. Also, the big characters, the, oh, the, the big guys, the, the big henchmen. You, I hate that. every time you tune into one of these videos. Just know we're going to talk about that for <laughs> at least a brief second. They're we're going to touch on it because they're terrible. But uh, yeah, Arkham Origins. I think you know the one downside that I've seen, at least in my revisit to Arkham Origins, is the redirect when he does the extra hit. Is annoying. I do a redirect. Uh, I've probably already done it in this gameplay, and it, you just pop right out of it. And even when you're playing as Deathstroke in Arkham Origins, he he just does a regular redirect. Uh, Batman does that extra hit. It kind of messes up the timing. Uh, let's see. Uh, I wouldn't want him. I wouldn't want him to bring back the shot gloves. I don't think. I think that was a nice thing to add into uh, Arkham Origins, but it did kind of break the leaderboard system if you know how to use the exploit, yes. which you all will see in an upcoming video. Probably. It's just that like. Because what they did in Arkham Knight was every time you got a critical strike, it would go up times three. The shot gloves added the element where it would only go up times three if you had the shot gloves on, which was like a nice little boost to it. Exactly. I think they should bring something back like that. Just try to, you know, balance the, the scoring system so you don't go overboard with the scoring every time you put on your shot gloves and you cheese it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I like the scoring system in, uh, in Arkham City a lot, actually. Because the thing with uh, Arkham Origins is that you fight so many enemies um, per round that the challenge maps actually take a lot longer when you're going for score. Like, you'll spend three minutes, like, on a round, and you're like, that must be the whole round four. And they're like, no, nope, that was just round two. And you're like, <laughs> what? But, uh, you know, I think if, actually if you, if you took the shot clubs out of it, it wouldn't even last that long. Actually. Do you think there's anything they could add? Like, like, has there ever been anything on your mind that, like, if they had this in this game... It would just, it would bring everything to light that I need to come to light. Uh, well, what I liked, I like, what I like about City, I should say, is the Ambravachi twins. Because you get the big henchmen in Night, and they're terrible, and then you get them in Origins, and they're actually just generic, you know, either armored or unarmored, you can beat them down and it's fun. The Ambravachi twins, or the Ambravachi twins, you know, with the hammer and sickle, they are basically the same premise. Also, look at this guy on the screen. He's just, he's just dancing. What is he doing? <laughs> look at him, look at him. I was so worried this was going to break song my combo. Came on, yeah. His song came on, chill, 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 let him vibe. But um, when he does like the sickle toss, or the sickle, like, you know, wide sweeping attack, I thought that was pretty cool, same thing with the hammer. So I, I like those specialty mini-boss characters. Yeah. Um, Titans are cool. We They're not in, they're, you know, they're only in uh, after Asylum and City. They're very different in those two games, anyway. But um, other than that, I just really like all the enemy types and origins. Like, martial artists are great. The Bane henchmen are great. You know, armored enemies are the same, pretty much. I just don't, yeah, I just don't know what other elements you could add. Like, they they have, like, these games down to, like, such a perfect mesh of elements. It's just small little mechanics that may mm -hmm. be all the difference sometimes. And, 
you know, when when they do the new Batman game, right? Because that's what we're trying to discuss here is what system should they use? The reason people like Arkham Knights, and um, I like Arkham Knights when you play as Batman. I think it feels clunky as hell when you're not playing as Batman. I hopped on the other day to do a Robin map just to, just to see how it felt, and I was like, it broke my brain. I think Robin in Arkham City is way better than he is in Arkham Knight, but... Because when you're playing as Batman, you have all the gadgets, you have all the moves, you yeah. have pretty much everything, right? Minus the bat swarm, which is how could you take that out? That's all the so suits key. as well. Right. Batman suits are really nice. Right, exactly. Um, the speed of Arkham Knight is what people like about it. How fast you can get something going and then keep it flowing. That's what people gravitate towards. So I feel that actually. Yeah, right. So I'm like, maybe, you know, I I don't I don't know what the answer is. If I had to pick one, I'd say City or Origins. But if you could maybe speed it up a little bit to be like night, not that fast, maybe not like just ring around the rosy. Yeah, not that over fast, not that insane, not that bullshit with like the big targeting guys. system. Yeah, as well. All right, so we're gonna see the score pop up here. I was trying to compete with the uh, the Arkham channel here on YouTube because I shout out to the Arkham channel. Shout out, yes. As you see, I was able to beat the score. I was real hype. And then I'm going to show you my world rank here. Now, the second gameplay y'all are going to see today is a Predator Room um, that I was doing on the Wayne Manor level. See? Wayne Manor Main Hall. I wasn't even going to record. I just happened to do the Predator Room in a decent time without even trying. I was just playing this for fun. <sighs> you know what? That's I think that's what... Um, we've been talking a lot about combat. What obviously we want in the next games. I want I to see a return long, of man. great predator rooms. Okay, I I've think always been terrible takes. at the predator rooms, but Once they they do issue away, a great challenge to you. And I see think if you can get hot in this room with all these dudes with these guns. Mm -hmm. See what you got. I think City has the best ones. Origins are great. Uh, I think Knights are the weakest overall, just because of like how wide they make the maps because they're all they're all outside. I remember I, I haven't played Arkham Knight all the way through. I remember I was watching Mike. There was like What's 20 you know, dudes in a predator that? room, all guns. I'm like, how are you supposed to conquer this? But obviously, they let you just tank that somehow, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Because well, what I don't like about the night part of the rooms is, as you saw here, and as e it's been evident in all the other Batman games, is when you start the part of the room, the timer starts. In night, that's not the case. Oh, yeah, yeah, Because you, I remember you complaining about people having, like, two second times for maps. Exactly. And, like, to me, that takes all the fun out of it. And people are like, well, you can just plan ahead and do this and do this. And this. I'm like, no, like... You, you, it just takes away. Watch, I got so lucky with this. Just lining them all up. I think you need to start Shoot. the timer at one. It. There you go. Boom. But whenever the new Batman game gets announced, hopefully it's soon. Probably gonna be a game informer cover, like all the other ones. Uh, I'm gonna be reading up on these details. And uh, but I want to know what you guys think. What combat system do you want? What yes. kind of predator rooms do That's you want? That's the reason we're here. We're here to get y'all feedback. Obviously. Here to get developers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, there's the score. See, I got 79. That's why I wanted to do it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Final Crush 3 video coming soon. Gracious.